time to pack a pickup, and it's all for a good cause and right before high school football games tomorrow. Jordan Strax live for us tonight at St. Francis. Jordan, all the years, St. Francis, always one of the best schools in the area gathering canned goods. There is no question about that, Dan, and they have shown up once again. Coming into this week, Wasion was the leader in our contest. Not anymore. How about this? We've got the St. Francis Band here with us tonight. They're doing an awesome job. Love having them with us. The Seagate Food Bank mascots are with us, which we always love. And then here's the main attraction. Check this out. First off, Father Jeff Rose. Look at this jacket. Are you kidding me? Looks like a million bucks out here. And he's even helping. The basketball team is out here as well. Uh, when you add in all of the canned goods that they have, and then you add in the monetary donations that they have, they are over 14,000 pounds of food, which is fantastic, and that puts them into first place. Scott Seacrest, you've got to become the guy here at St. Francis that just runs this thing. Why is this always such a special event? How do you guys always show up every single year? So. It we feel that it's just important to be able to give back to the community. And the very first year that you guys started doing the Pack the Pickup, we thought that it was a great way for us to be involved in the community. And it's been something that's become just a tradition every single year. You know, some years it's been less, you know, but less has been like three or 4,000 pounds. And then the past couple of years being 14 or 15,000 pounds, it's just been excellent and a great way to give back to the community. And, and, and I have to say, the kids, there is a little incentive for the kids here at St. Francis, right? Kind of give me an idea of some of the things that they get if they can get to certain uh, poundage. Yeah, so we had a goal, a, a kind of a big goal of 10,000 pounds, which we were pretty sure that they would get, and they get a dress down day each of the four uh, Fridays in October. Um, we also have, for the home rooms, the three top home rooms are going to get bagels and donuts. Uh, so it was just something, you know, a, a, just a great way to incentivize them, but for something that was a little bit fun. And how much does this teach them about giving back and helping out in their community? Because every single pound stays right here in our zip code. Yeah, no, it, it, it's an amazing thing. Like, we, we like to push service, and it, just being able to give back to the community is just such an amazing thing for these guys. Absolutely, Scott. Thank you so much. You do an amazing job every year, and we do appreciate oh, it so much. much. So the Seagate Food Bank is going to benefit from this, which is absolutely incredible every single year. And there is a new leader in our Pack of Pickup Challenge for the year. The St. Francis Knights have taken over the top spot. We'll have much more coming up in just a little bit at 6 o'clock. But for now, reporting live over at St. Francis, Jordan Strack, WTOL 11.